This video demonstrates how to install EMG UCB. The installation process is really quite simple. However, the installation instructions are not all that clear for beginners, and I know I would have valued a walkthrough when I was first starting out with it. Let's join the process in Visual Studio at the point after we have created a new Windows Forms application and are ready to go. We will use NuGet to get the libraries. Just click on the References item below the project in the right-hand panel and choose the Manage NuGet Packages option from the menu that pops up. This will open the NuGet Package Manager in the left-hand panel. We can see that the panel is currently displaying the installed packages and that we have none. We want to look for EMG UCV libraries, so let's click on the Browse tab. Lots of packages pop up. Let's narrow down the display a bit by looking for EMGU in the search box. There are still a lot of options. We have to be careful here as some of these are not all the official libraries. We want the ones from EMGU Corporation. We don't want one of these other ones. Who knows what they are? The best way to filter this is to search on emgu.cv and get only those packages from the EMGU Corporation. The list is now much smaller, and we have the ones we want right at the top. We can see these are all from the EMGU Corporation. We highlight the EMGU CV library and click Install in the right-hand panel. And it's done. We do the same for EMGU CV Runtime Windows, EMGU CV Bitmap, and EMGU CV.UI. Now that everything is installed, we can click on the Installed tab and see the results. We note that the four installed packages are now visible. We can close the NuGet Package Manager. Visual Studio knows about the libraries now. Back in our application, we can simply add our using statements to reference the new libraries. It may happen that Visual Studio does not seem to recognize these libraries when you first place them in. If that happens, don't worry about it. Visual Studio does that sometimes. Just close down the application and restart it and you will be all right. Since the using statements are in place, we can use any of the EMGU CV calls or objects as we wish. I will now create a mat object. and we can see that it compiles successfully. That's it, you're off and running. Simple really. The big gotcha is to make sure you get the correct packages and maybe close down and restart after you've installed them. Watch out for those two things and you will be all right. If you would like to download a suite of fully functional open source EMGU CV applications, have a look at the PRISM project apps. A link is in this video's comments.